All right, so I thought I'd just in the process of testing these uh, 818 yeah, uh, little USB power banks I got off eBay the other day. Uh, I thought I'd test and see if they had over discharge protection. So over discharge is when you get below a minimum voltage, which is about 3 volts generally for 18650s. 3.2 is better. The closer you get your voltage cycles, so say you went from 3.2 to 4.1 instead of 3 to 4.25, the longer they'll last. The more you cycle them, the harder you cycle them, the uh, less time they'll last. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm discharging this one. We're down to 41%. We'll just get a number. We're at 41% of the actual voltage that's left at that uh, supposed uh, capacity level we got them in there okay and it's uh, 41% we have 3.74 volts still. Right, I'll come back to it uh, when we get around towards what it thinks is zero. And uh, when we get down there, we will. Uh, what when it gets to zero percent? I mean, or zero volts? Um, and we'll test it then. See what voltage is left. See if it uh, stops and stops discharging these 18650s at a safe level. And uh, while I'm waiting for it to continue keep discharging, I might pull apart that uh, about in 650 power bank I uh, retrofitted there with uh, some Samsung 30Qs and uh, put them in this when we're done. And then make this my daily carrier one um, with the biggest, biggest cells I've got. Alright, I'll come back to you. Okay then, time to tear this apart and uh, salvage our. Uh, Samsung cells. that part away for future use. Maybe even just to charge some out six fifties in a big bank one day, never know. She said he did a good job with the tape. Have a look at the beauty that is them. Lovely INR 18650 Samsung 30 Qs. Right, let's get this bad boy desoldered. That was a tick up, look at that. I never sold that one together. Better improve my skills before I make this car pack.
that one wasn't joined either. Alright, I really need to buy a flux pen. That one had been soldered but wasn't joined. Trying to clean as much of the solder off as we can. Otherwise, it might be a bit hard to get back in their battery holders. Okay, then we're down to what it's saying is a 20% state of charge. And uh, I cheated, pulled all the cells out because it was taking way too long to discharge. It'd be, yeah. Uh, four different phones and uh, sometime next week by the time we've had it flat. So uh, we've got one, one, one cell in there now. At 20% we've still got 3.356 and slightly deteriorating. So uh, we'll let it run down a bit further until it's down into the 5% kind of category and uh, we'll start watching it again then. Okay then, we're down to 0% uh, state of charge, it's actually, it turns itself off when it gets to 0, and uh, I've seen it get down to 2.9, briefly under load. Let's try and replicate that again. We've got the Samsung S6 and a uh, shitty tablet plugged in. So the two lights for the USB charging have gone off and they stopped at 3.1 I think I've seen there. I kind of missed it because I was looking down here but you guys would have seen that. Um, you see where it stopped? Just 
Turn it on again, see if it'll go again. It goes again under load. As soon as the load drops off, we need to see what it says. You'll see it jump straight away. It's under load, it's porn. Not charging a phone and a tablet. Shit tablet though. I must, must admit it's not a good one. There you go. Tripped out under load at 2.9. And uh, he's letting us know it's 0% state of charge. Thanks for watching guys. It does have good cell protection. I'll see if I can find a link on uh, eBay or even an eBay item ID of where I bought them. I'll drop that in the, um, in the description for you. Cheers for watching. Cheers for your comments. Catch you later.